Shoo! What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is early in the morning. We are getting after it, folks. Look at that sunrise. Look at that view. I feel like Demo Ranch right now. We are getting started early. I'm waiting on Zach. Zach will be here any minute. We've got a very exciting video plan. We are taking the pink Ford Ranger down to the ranch, meeting up with my friends, Classic Firearms. They are bringing some very large sized pews to shoot towards the Ranger to see what will go through it. It's gonna be an exciting day, but as some of you may or may not have noticed, I have been wearing some Bucks gear. Okay, not ducks, not ducks. Okay, ducks, we started back in 2017. Bucks, we are starting this year and it is launching on August 3rd. So mark your calendars, folks. We've been waiting years to launch bucks we finally got the products we want we finally got the designs we want we are super super excited so mark your calendars august 3rd is when bucks is dropping we will keep you guys updated along the way but i know some of you guys have seen me wear it you've been dropping comments asking about it so i wanted just to give you guys a date Okay, August 3rd. That's all you gotta know. Mark your calendars, folks. I'm gonna sit here, wait for Zach, watch the sunrise. Look, can you guys see the fog behind the house? Look at that fog over the pond right now. I need to start getting up earlier, folks. When you see the sunrise, you just... <sighs> You feel good about your day. Anyways, with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today's video is about shooting pews, epic pews, giant pews, pews that I've never shot before, that most people in their life haven't shot before, and that is a 50 cal. Now, you might be wondering, how'd you get your paws on one of them 50 cals? Well, my friends over at Classic Firearms reached out. They're like, hey, love your channel. We'd love to partner up. What do you think? And I'm like, let's do it. So we got to chit-chatting. They're actually going to be coming out tomorrow we're gonna go prep the stage today down at the ranch and so they're flying in and we are just gonna have a fun day of shooting pews including a 50 cal okay a little 50 cal now i asked them i said what's the strat with targets what kind of targets do you want me to buy or go get they're like well whatever you don't mind destroying and so i got to think i'm like well i don't really want to destroy a night are you serious lucy that's not a jacuzzi what do you Oh, mom's gonna be pissed. Mom is gonna be, she's taking a bath. She's taking a bath in the bucket. Anyways, so they were saying that whatever you wanna shoot is just gonna get destroyed. So I started thinking, I'm like, what do I already have that I don't mind getting destroyed? And one thing that came to my mind is the Ford freaking Ranger. If you guys missed that video, we did a gender reveal video, painted the truck pink and sent it off the cliff. And now it's just been sitting down there in the woods doing Ford Ranger things. And we're like, we gotta get rid of this sucker at some point. Do we sell it? Do we blow it up? Do we destroy it? What better way to do something with it, I guess, than to shoot it with a bunch of pews, including a 50 cal, and see what would a 50 cal do to a vehicle. You know, really see what kind of damage that sucker can do. So that is the plan, but oh, she found a frog. You get it, get him, fetch it up. You get him, yeah, you got it. You may not be that good at duck hunting, but you got that toad duty figured out. So we need to go rescue it. It is down the hill, way back there, and it's stuck in the woods, and it's buried real good. The plan is similar to the cop car, if you guys saw that video. We're gonna take the mini excavator, go down there, drag it up here, throw it on this trailer, strap her down, head down to the ranch and then we're going to set up a range down at the ranch we're going to take the new tractor mow some paths maybe set up a shooting table like a picnic table set up the targets get it ready for tomorrow when the boys from classic firearms are coming and we're going to go have some fun so with that being said you guys stay tuned Look at this thing. Yeesh. Oh, man. I cannot wait to shoot this sucker. This thing has just been sitting in my yard ever since that video. Lucy, what you think about the truck? All right. Well, you guys are definitely been covered in ticks by the time we're done with this episode. Probably shut this door, huh? Probably need to be. <laughs> really? Now, you got it. I actually didn't know that didn't work. All right. Cool. What gear? Is it in drive? Probably should put this sucker in neutral. Oh, it's soaked in here. That's reverse. Neutral. I think we're in neutral. Oh, my gosh. Look yeah. how much water is back here, dude. Sheesh. It's gonna make it a heavy load, that's for darn sure. All right, well, let's see if this excavator's got what it takes to pull four frick ranger out of here. Oh yeah, she ain't going nowhere. Let's give her hell. are going backwards and the back ones are going forward. How is that even possible? Why are the back ones going forward? I don't understand how pulling it back can make them go forward. Yeah. Am I missing something? I mean, I didn't take physics, but it don't make sense. Let's just try reverse. See if this works. Oh, 
I'll give you credit, excavator. You handled that like a beast. Last time we did the cop car, actually, I think I used the truck winch because I didn't believe in this sucker. It definitely done goofed up my gravel a little bit. You know, you got a couple skiddy marks, but hey, nothing that some new, I need a new gravel over there anyway. See that washout right there? That's no good for nobody. So I'll have to put a new load of gravel. I, I still don't understand why the wheels go forward on the backside. Oh God, the Muffy's giving it a little dangle down there, yeah. I have no idea why though the back tires go oh, forward. Yeah. I put it in six different gears and it still is like, nah, I'm gonna go forward. We need to get her on probably some level ground because it wants to roll. Like right now it would just roll away unless I put it in park or something. Even that, I don't even know if it'll work. So we're gonna try getting this thing repositioned on this flat ground, grab the trailer, grab my truck and see if we can shove it up onto the trailer. This might get interesting. Listen, you're not helping, buddy. You're gonna help? How about I tie a rope to the truck and you tug it? Got her loaded up, folks. This is just water, by the way. This is not gasoline or oil. All you EPA folks watching, it's just the water that was in the back, I promise. We got her loaded up. We're gonna get her strapped, real strapped down, real good. Unfortunately, most of the weight, if I was thinking, I probably would've pushed it the other way. I was just worried, like, pushing the back end of it, you're not gonna have a lot of leverage versus the front. I kinda had all the control. I don't think it's too heavy. When your back is heavier than your front, that's when you start doing the death wobble. So we may or may not die going to the ranch. When we shoot it, I, I vote we just leave it on the trailer because I don't really feel like yeah. doing that again. Especially Especially with the tractor because if I couldn't do very well with the excavator which I feel like I'm pretty good at I really suck at driving that tractor so I think we should just leave it on here you as we shoot it do yeah I should that's a big enough target out assume just don't hit the tires life will be good so we're gonna get her strapped down we'll see you guys at the ranch we made it to the ranch and we did not die. We got the truck here safe and sound. It didn't budge even a little bit. So we're good to go. We need to go inside the shop, unload some feed real quick, keep some feed because we're going to go fill up the feeders. We're going to go make our rounds. We haven't filled it up for a few weeks. So I'm sure they could use, especially on the south end. And then we got to figure out where we're going to be shooting. 50 cows can travel. I mean, any bullets can travel. I want a nice flat place. I think somewhere on the other side of these trees, there's a valley. And so we're going to take the tractor and mow it so it looks like this. So it's nice and short short for us and everybody at Classic Firearms that are coming out to shoot and be comfortable. I mean, how far? Oh, I for, I knew I'd forget that. A range finders. What if we shoot down that way? We'll have to go look. I mean, we want to make sure that, so there's hills and, you know, obviously berms. We want to make sure this doesn't go into my neighbor's yard. I think there's a good berm still on that side. I know there is over there, which originally I was going to shoot down into that valley because there's literally a mountain over there to catch any ricochets or fragments. This would be clutch because the cabin's right here. It'd be so nice to stay right by the cabin. I could go mow all those little cedar bushes down too. Like those could get mowed. They don't do any good. You know, you want to get rid of them anyway. And you could back her up too. I mean, you could shoot from as far back that way as you wanted. You could get probably 300 yards between the whole thing if you wanted to. I mean, we'll probably end up shooting 100 or 200 more than likely. I kind of like that spot. We'll have to just see what's beyond it. We got to make sure there's a good hill. I mean, my neighbors are like that way, but they're like way on the other side there. We'll want to make sure that we can catch them rounds, but that would make our life a little easier. I was saying we were going to have to go bury the sucker in the woods. I think we're going to leave the truck on the trailer and shoot and just try not to hit the trailer. Now that I'm looking at it, that might be the deal or even wonder if we could cut it this way. Ooh, it's not quite as open. You're for sure hitting the berm there. I just haven't been over there. We'll have to go drive over there. I bet we, I bet we'll be okay. All right, well, we're going to go get some feet unloaded, get to scout and kind of figure out where we're putting this sucker. Yeah, stay tuned. Shoo! Well, I think we found the spot. It's not where we had anticipated. Up there is the cabin. We're going to probably put the truck like back here and I might have to back it down. Look, there's an old fire pit right here. Look at that. And see that? That's your shooting lane. So we'll, we'll sit up where that single cedar tree is and shoot down here. This is a whole bluff. There ain't no way that anything's getting through there, hitting my neighbors or doing any of that deal. And like I said, the cabin's right up there. I know you can't see it, but it's on the other side of this tree right here. So you're probably 200 yards and we can set up under some of those shade trees up there. So like that way when it's hot and sunny, which I'm assuming it's going to be tomorrow, then we've got a little bit of shade. What's going on over there? You like that spot? So I'll bring the tractor and mow. We're going to go fill feeders first and go check out what's going on. 
Oh yeah, look at that lane. We gotta make a deer food plot out here. It's right by the cabin, but again, you're, you're far enough. We got the creek right there, and then the old high fence is right there, so you know they just walk that creek. Boom, right here. You literally could walk, I don't know, 50 yards from the cabin, sit in one of them ground blinds, and you'd be good to go. While I'm doing it, I'm probably just gonna mow a lot. You know, that way if we do turn into a food plot, that's the less I have to mow. Um, then we just have to spray it. So I'll probably mow like three or four passes there for the lane and do a big circle pass here, and we should be good to go. But before we do that, let's go fill them feeders. Shoo! We made it. first spot, and I'm not sure. Yikes! You found deer poop? Oh, maybe there are some deer. Oh no, hang on, I'm lying. Yep, there's deer right here. See the, them prints right there. We were worried that this, it still has quite a bit in here, but we were worried the can't. This camera don't work. I don't know what the strat is here? They're not touching this mineral though at all. Wonder if we need to dig it into the dirt more. I did bring a little bit of a shovel. I brought a weed whacker too. We need to whack some of this down. I don't know what the camera is. I've been having issues with all these cameras lately, but I mean, yeah, at least there's some prints. We haven't seen any bucks for a while. I will say that. Just giving you guys an update. We haven't seen many bucks, so let's get this guy topped off and I think we should try to make a different mineral spot. Like, throw it right here where they're pawing. Right here? Yeah. yeah, I'll put a little bit of mineral right there. Maybe that'll do the trick. Stay tuned. dent in it. I ate about half of it. That's good. I think I might leave it at bat. Save the rest for the other ones. Well, we got some new mineral put out. Maybe they forgot where the other one was. I mean, they ate half of this, which is good, because last time we filled this up, they hadn't touched it. Should be good. Let's get to weed whacking. Really? Come on, Sheila. Sounded like she almost got it. Beefcake landscaping, struggling over here, boys. Oh, just had to get a little juice. Now we're cooking. Did you lose it already? I lost the string already. There might be some hiding in there. Rip. I feel like if you gave me like six minutes, I could design a better weed whacker. We're living in 2021 and you still gotta deal with this thing. You ever seen people just put zip ties on there? Uh -oh. just string two zip ties and tighten them and then you're just good to go. I feel like those guys might be thinking the right way here. I can't even get this sucker off. Oh, we got dangling here a little bit. Not much. You big weed whacker guy? No. These things suck. This is just gonna sling out if I leave it like that. It's worth a try, I guess. Bad. I don't think that's right, but it might get us by for the day. It's pretty go. Sheesh. Hopefully that works. On to the next feeder. next spot and this one this is when you know okay folks right here when it looks something like this oh it's about half when it looks like that you know they've been doing something to it question is why aren't they touching the mineral it's probably because i didn't mix it i mean i knew you mixed it with like dirt but i didn't know like had to maybe you don't have to but i guarantee you we'll go to the next one the last one and you can always tell the minerals been touched so i wonder if it's like if you just pile up and it rains and gets like moldy they're like nah maybe i'll just try clearing this out and i'm gonna dig up another spot right here and put some fresh mineral i don't let me let me know if i'm doing something wrong because i feel like i don't know just dump it on the ground maybe this like just too much it needs to be in the soil it can't just be sit they don't just like consume it like they do this stuff so anyways let's get another mineral site built
made it to the final one. Lots of shooting, folks. So this is the one I told you. You're going to be able to tell they're hitting it. Look at it. They're munching. They made all this dirt. I didn't do none of this. This right here should look like this. But since there's so many deer, it looks like this. They're hitting the mineral a little bit better here than the other one. So I don't know, maybe mixing so it. much cooler. Dude, there. this feels so good. It feels amazing right here. <laughs> like I'm like soaked in sweat just because of how humid it is. Dude, this feels so good. Oh, I bet this creek's getting it too. We've had lots and lots and lots of rain lately. Dude, look, there's a literal creek right here. Oh my gosh. I've never seen it this full. It's a literal creek. That's pretty crazy. We've been getting pictures of this one, but like I said, I haven't seen any bucks for a while. I don't know. The dudes just went on a bachelor party somewhere and we're like, see you guys later or what the strat is, but let's get this feeder filled. It's time to get down to work. I think we changed our mind. We're gonna mow. We're just right behind the trailer, shoot a straight lane, and there's nothing behind us. Then you're like r literally right next to all this. Like you're right next to the cabin, you're right next to the shop. It'd make it a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and climb up in the tractor. I think these tires are a little low. I mean, we're not mowing too much. We gotta get a legit air compressor out here. My little one doesn't really do a whole lot. We'll take it easy on Big Shield. I should have brought my big one from the house. I just, I forgot. So let's get the tractor started. We're in business. That would be nice right now. I'll, I'll do a box. That would be. That'd be nice right now. All right, we made it. So I'm gonna mow from basically where the truck is. This narrow strip all the way down and back. I'm starting to like this thing. I'm getting better. Okay, folks, I'd give it a little bit of time. The old mower was, she was doing pretty darn good. Made a few passes, made our little shooting lane. Like I said, I think if we really need some distance, we can head back to those blinds. I mean, we can go past those blinds. We can get 300 yards, 400 yards out of it if we want to. I'm not sure how far we're gonna be trying to shoot. I mean, we don't wanna hit that trailer, so it'll be somewhat accurate. This would be pretty good shooting lane, I would, I would say. So let's go ahead and drive the truck down over there and get her in position. Got him. Dude, this dude bit my shoulder. Look at the fly, dude. Why is he so big? He literally took a chunk out of my shoulder. I swear to God. <laughs> Gotta be bleeding. That's a fly. Blinded by the light. All right, well, we got the truck out here. Let's get her unhooked. Oh, dude, I'm getting, oh, oh, there he is. Dude, dude, get away from me, buddy. Blinded. Oh! We got another one. Dude, are they not biting you? Uh-uh. I'm getting KO'd by these suckers. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. Dude, they'll get one. Dude, they'll get you too. They hurt. These suckers aren't messing around. It's attack of the damn flies. What they don't know is I got a 50 count on the back. They're they're done. I'm like paranoid of these suckers. And I feel like I'm getting bit everywhere. That's how I feel with ticks. <laughs> I probably got a few ticks on me. Oh god. Woo wee! Oh the hell are we not getting off this? Now we're off. We're good to go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very special episode. You've seen a little bit, we've got it prepped. This is an amazing sight, by the way, okay? I just walked over here like, look what we got going. Two Barrett 50 cows. We got the gentleman from Classic Firearms here. How are you guys doing? You, you good? You made it, you made it. They flew all the way from North Carolina, yep. all the way here to hang out at the ranch for the day and shoot 50 cows. And you brought an MP5 and an M1. M1A. And M1A. So we've got a handful of different pews, but as you guys saw, we've got that pink truck sitting right down there. We've got the table set up for shooting. This is kind of our workstation, but basically what the pew can do to the Ford Ranger. As you guys know, Ford Rangers in general are absolutely indestructible. We sent it off a cliff. <laughs> And she's still, well, actually, I, I didn't try starting it. It may not actually run, but we're just gonna say, yes, it started. So they're indestructible, but are they as indestructible with a 50 cal? That's gonna be the question. But we have the nine mil, which is the MP5, and then the 308, which is an M1A. And so we're gonna start with the nine mil, go to the 308, and then if all else fails, we've got a Kimbo bear 50 cals. The challenge for the day, honestly, isn't to go through the Ranger, it's to not shoot the trailer. That trailer, I didn't, I was too lazy to take the truck off the trailer because it's really hard to get it on, as you guys saw. And I don't really want 
want to ruin that trailer. I mean, if it happens, all in the name of Barrett's versus Rangers, then it is what it is. But that's going to be the challenge is trying to shoot the trailer. So I'm not even sure. Are they going to see this on your channel or what are you guys thinking here? I don't, that might be too excessive for this. You guys, you guys might have to go check out their channel to look and see what this is going to. You've never shot one before? I haven't shot a fire extinguisher. Before. Yeah, see, I've never have either. I've shot a lot of things before, not a fire extinguisher. So if you guys want to check it out, it's going to be on their channel and they can win one of these Barrett's. Is that, is that what I'm hearing right now? Is, yeah, is so, there's a giveaway so going on? Yours. Yep. And then all of y'all watching yep. has the potential to make this one yours. Look, we can be twins. If you guys want to match, we can be twins. Who else is out there giving away Barrett? Nobody. No one's doing it like these guys right here. Uh, so how can they enter to win that guy? Well, first off, there's nobody else giving away as many Barrett's as we do. There you go. See, I <laughs> like it. I like it. Yep. <laughs> and uh, classicfirearms.com. Classicfirearms.com. That's all it is. That's it. Go yeah. check it out. Go to classicfirearms.com and maybe you could be twins with me. And if so, I wouldn't be pissed if I won it. That's probably the best giveaway I've seen yet. I mean, we talked. You guys were like, you know what pew have you been after? Barrett. It's hard to find. I can't find it anywhere. And you guys brought two. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. So we, we're good to go. So we're going to get everything rigged up, ready to rock and roll. So we're going to start with the 9 mil, 308, and then up to the 50 cal versus the Ford freaking Ranger. You guys stay tuned. Sheesh. Buddy. What is that for? Why? Why is it so excessively large? That's what she's saying. Insane. Look at that thing. Unbelievable. Well, it's made to go through yeah, what? armored vehicles. Oh, okay. Right? Uh, if you've got somebody behind cover, an enemy combatant, something like that, right? Yeah. That turns their cover into just concealment and oh, okay. no longer offers a good place for <laughs> refuge. So it's made just to blow through anything at yeah. this point. Yeah, I mean, exactly. that's this is but insane. But will it do it through a Ford Ranger? I'm telling you, man, them Ford Rangers are stinking tough. I'll be pretty surprised. We'll have to see. We're, like, so we're going to work our way up. I had to show you that. I mean, that is insane. I, I think excessive. I'm team 50 cal on this one. Really? You think, you think 50 cal is going to take it? I don't know. Pink Ford Ranger. Pink Ford Ranger, dude. Are yeah. you team Ranger or team 50 cal? Drop a comment down below what you guys think who's going to win. I just can't get over it. It's just massive. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Like I've never seen Unreal. a bullet this big in my entire life. It's actually well, one of the oldest cartridges still in use today as well. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Several decades old. I mean, it was originally designed shortly after the First World War. Oh, so, I didn't know it was that old. Yeah, I didn't really? Either. Yeah, BMG Browning Machine Gun. I yep. didn't even know that's what that stood for. It. Listen, Makes the sense. more you guys know. Are we going to somewhat sight these things in? Is that kind of the plan? Yeah, we got a piece of plywood over there with a uh, sticker. Okay. And uh, we'll sight these guys in and make sure that we're actually going to hit our target. Yeah. If we don't hit it, then the ranger naturally wins. So. Got it. it. We've got to make contact with it. So, piece of plywood out there. Let's get to firing. Perfect. Good? Yeah. I'm scared. Hopefully we're... Oh, yeah. Looking good. Yeah, I'm going to cheat and use my monopod. Oh, yeah. How do you work this thing? You just... uh, yep, so you have that little uh, knob that you can loosen up, and then you adjust the monopod to where you want, and then tighten it back down, and then you can actually twist it right or left to change your yeah, I think this tightens it right here. Oh, okay. So I just keep twisting this thing? Wow, this is kind of nice. Oh, wow. This oh, makes yeah. life a lot easier. Sheesh. The deer are doomed this year. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, you could do it. I mean, technically. Yeah, yeah no, you but... ain't wrong. Uh, go ahead and charge yours up and then just send around right to the... Uh... Let's see where Why you're Why am hit. I so scared right now? It's a baby. I'm actually <laughs> going to get more of the blast than you are. Really? Oh, yeah. The way the comp is set up, or I should say the break. Yeah, it's going to blow me to part, but it's okay. Okay. All yeah. right. They're big babies. Fire in the hole, I guess. Yeah, send it. Huh? Bro! Dude, there's a lot of dust on this trailer. <laughs> you don't say! Dude, I feel like I just got punched. Like, I'm serious. That felt like somebody just punched you right in the face. I just tasted a lot of trailer dust. <laughs> Where'd I hit? I don't know. I don't see anything I missed. Oh, wait. Low left, I think. You could've mowed that grass there. Well, I didn't realize we were gonna shoot over there. <laughs> Take it ten notches up, then about maybe three notches right, and let's see where that puts you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then right? Yeah, right about three notches or so. Let's just see what that One, does. Two, three. I literally felt like somebody punched me in the face. You think you could do both, like a Kembo? Absolutely not. There's no <laughs> shot. You got to. There's it's no so cool. shot. It's worse than I expected, to be honest. Like I, I was like, ah, you know. No, that's like shooting a cannon. And they said it's a big baby. Big baby. What kind of baby you? Hopefully my baby don't come out. Like this. <laughs> you want me to let another one rip? Yeah, go for it. All right, fire them all. Am I nose bleeding? I swear, it's a punch in the, the face. The camera jerks every time. I bet. <laughs> we have any contact there? You're actually about half an inch higher and further to the left somehow. Huh, am I missing something here? So if you look at the classic firearm sticker, yeah. look down about maybe seven inches. Okay. Then look left about two and a half inches. Oh, okay, it looks like grass to me. From there, just go like up a lot. So there. I did 10 last time. Go like 30. And then right? Do 10 right. All right, final. All right, here we go, firing. Woo! 
So you see the top of the sea? Yeah. Oh, it's close. Just go to the right, maybe another 10. Okay. And then you can probably go down four or five. I wouldn't go down a whole lot. Okay. I think it gets louder every time. Dude, the concussion think... is under. I literally am like, somebody's punching. It's the only way I can describe it. This is gonna be the one I'm feeling it. Half the sticker's gone, so. Well, that oh yeah, on the right side it is. Yep, I'd say we're pretty much there. We're good? Yeah. All right. All right, mine's good. I guess I got a spot for you. I'm gonna sit back for the blast real quick. <laughs> Dude, you gotta shoot this sucker. I think I just got done boxing somebody. Dude, you gotta stand out here. Like, it feels so weird. Yeah, the no. concussions, like I got, I think I have a concussion actually. All right, we've got the 50 cal sighted in. Head's still ringing a little bit, it's all right. We've got the MP5 here though. Is it technically called a holographic sight? Yeah, so this is the EOTech holographic. I know about as much as you would learn playing Call of Duty when it comes to these <laughs> type of guns. Like I know a decent amount about shotguns, I yeah. grew up duck hunting, but like these, caught COD, holographic yeah. sight, MP5. They were right, in little foregrip action. Yeah, the commando foregrip action. Okay, right, okay. There you go, right? So the angled foregrip by Magpul we've got on here, Knight's Armament, you know, Picatinny Rail and all that type yep. of fun stuff. Okay. So the civilian version of this gun, HK recently introduced and that's what this is. It's technically called the SP5. Okay. But MP5, that's just classic. That's, that's just cool. a staple. That's what we're doing. Yeah. You know, this is your truck, and I just don't feel right shooting at a man's truck before him. So I want you guys to go ahead, give us a little HK slap. I'm left-handed, so I don't yeah. have to switch to do it. Yeah, you can still do it. Just come across and just slap it. Just slap it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. That's it right there. I gotta switch back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna shoot the door first. See, because okay. I think the door is probably like the well, the engine block's probably the strongest, but like yeah. you sit where the door is. Right. So if you're gonna roll around in an armored vehicle like a Ford yeah. Ranger, yeah. this is the test here. Let's aim for the door. Yep. Firing. That was like shooting a squirt gun compared to that 50 <laughs> cal, by the way. I like I think I flinched really hard just anticipating it. All right, let's see if it went through the other side. These are just standard 115 grain FMJ. Dude, that looks sick. I wish we like didn't wreck it, because if we could just shoot it up and drive it around. You know people put like the fake bullet yeah. stickers, but like we would have real ones. Open it up, what does it look like? Went through there. Oh, right into the seat. Oh yeah. Look at that. You didn't think it X it went on the other side. I doubt it, honestly. I'm gonna go look. No, dude, I'm telling you, it's bulletproof. I mean, it might have went into your ass. That's fine. You're not going to die. I'm going to aim a little higher and try to get above the seat and see if it goes through the other side of the door. All right, I'm going to aim a little bit higher. Let it eat, baby. That is satisfying. To that is. see the impact. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. Okay, if it didn't go through, it's going to be close. I'm not sure. If it didn't go through, I mean, we've all the options here. I mean, it had to have gone through, right? I mean, yeah. One of them had to have gone through. I don't see many. You think it's on the other side? I don't see many of them. Oh, it ripped through the metal right yeah, there. See where it went through the metal. Oh yeah, there's a hole in the airbag. Sure. All right, let's go on the other side and see if it went through. Moment of truth, boys. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, four, only four? four. Only Honestly, four only four through. is not that bad. Look at that. That was out of like probably 10. I think you're still dead though. You think? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably dead. Honestly, I'm still pretty impressed though. Only four of them went all the way through. What's it look like in here? It's like the speaker got hit, so. Rip the boom box over here. It pretty much went through. Four out of at least what, a dozen shots? Yeah. Not bad. No. So I would say like you're 50% bulletproof. Don't hold me against it. If you get shot up in a Ford Ranger, you might die. But let's try the uh, the M1. Is yeah. that next? Yeah. 308. Stay tuned. Boom! M1A. Yeah. That's what technically this is called. Yeah, Springfield M1A. This is the SOCOM model, 16 inch barrel, ah. little tactical comp. And uh, of course, it's not America without a 50 round 308 drum. You know that's what, I, mean? what I was thinking. I was thinking the same thing. I'm glad you read my mind. Yeah. <laughs> With this guy, it's easy enough. Red dot sight. Put the red dot where you want it to hit, just like the holographic. Yeah. Charge it up. Safety's right here in front of the trigger. Just push forward. Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah. Yeah. That's very very American-esque. Oh, the... you just flip it up and then yep. down. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's all there is to it. You just pull it back? Yep. <laughs> Am I missing something here? Oh, I just, yeah, yeah I don't know what I'm doing. has got a manhandler. Weenie Hut Jr. <laughs> you said it, not me. Let's do it. I'm going to shoot for the back panel where we haven't shot yet. Is that window bulletproof or is that just me? Dude, the window like somewhat stayed together for some reason. That's weird. So that's what that tempering is all for. Yeah. You, right there. Look at all these bullet holes here. Oh yeah. Smoky in here, we got a fire or what? Really? Whew. Oh, and the other side got shot out too. Sheesh. Oh geez, I can see daylight on the other side. Let's go check it out. Oh, look at the exit on this. Hang on, what happened here? We have a little bulletproofness from the Ranger? Dude, we might. Is open, that what open, just happened? Open that door up. If no. there's something lodged in here, no. that's gonna be impressive. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh no, come on. I don't know if we've ever opened that what door. What did you do to this truck? I sent it off cliff. Oh, okay, yeah. that's fair. Oh, rip. 
We gotta figure out how to get this door open. Maybe unlock it. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. <laughs> Stand back. Glass in my ass. I think the Ford Ranger is Ford Rangers! You. Beefcake proof. You forgot to yell shoe. Shoe! I'd say pretty good bulletproof right here. I mean, this. if you jump, they shoot and it lands here. You'll be alright. What if you just use it as cover? You're hiding behind it in a firefight. Yeah, I mean, you could use it. Go right here, just don't stand yeah. up high, huh? I'm curious to know what really stopped that, so we might dig that open a little bit later. But yeah, I tried to get the door open, I couldn't yeah. get it. If I'm using this vehicle as cover, yeah. I'm gonna be standing behind the engine block. Oh! That's, that's where I wanna be. All Even right. though you might think, you know, you'll be a little bit more exposed because of the wheel well and stuff like yeah. that, that engine block, I guarantee you, is probably even gonna stop a 50. Ooh. But not a lot of them okay so we'll we'll see how that goes all right well it's like a 50 50 half of them went through half of them didn't we gotta step it up with 50 cal maybe i need to aim in the same spot and just blow the door off that'd probably help that's kind of i'm thinking so yeah. let's get the 50 out all righty folks oh yeah my happy place here we're gonna crank it up a little bit so we're gonna try sending it around through each part of besides the engine we're gonna save it because that's what you think is gonna take the dub right you think the four ranger's gonna win you're not hoping it does but that's what you that's what you think the strongest part is the engine block engine yep. block so we're gonna try everything but so we're gonna do tires windows doors and bed and we're each gonna pretty much shoot at the exact same time in the general location and we'll go check out the damage and then if it passes the test well fails the test let's call it that and it goes through we'll try the engine block Let's go ahead and do the back right tire. <laughs> Mine was too. Cut. <laughs> Aim high. Yeah, I don't want to hit your trail. Don't hit the trail. You good with back right tire? Yeah, man. You ready, Banjo? Yeah. Banjo's stepping back. He's nervous. All right. Three, two, one. Sheesh. What happened there? Are the tires bulletproof? No. <laughs> they weren't already flat. Right? Did we both miss? Possibly. Is it flat? I can't. Or did help. we just go through the wheel? Should we send another one? Yeah, we might have to send another. All right. We'll do a tire again. All right. Three. Two, one. Blew my hat off. Sheesh. Oh, did it flat now? Yeah, it's flat now. We must have hit. Oh, we got it. That literally sent my hat in outer <laughs> space. You see that? Yeah. Sheesh. Let's do the. We probably shouldn't shoot the gas tank, huh? Where's that located? Do you have, do you have gas in it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, if it creates a spark, that would be interesting. Epic. Would Maybe let's shoot the back half of the tailgate. Okay. So where is the gas tank located? Obviously I know where the dispenser area is, but- Under the main? I, for some reason, this just crossed my mind that this could explode. I mean, and we shot the fire extinguisher. I thought you would have like emptied it like first. No, I'm still, I'm, I'm still taking this on the road when we get done with it. Huh. You gotta keep it running. We'll shoot the back half. I don't think the gas tank lives over there. Between the wheel and the tail light. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> We both hit pretty much the same spot. We gotta shoot the door panel. I'm gonna aim right where the handle is. Ooh, okay, I like it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Woo! That ball is hot. Sheesh! Sucker singed a hole in my arm. Oh, How'd that one go? Woo! Dude, that thing's so hot. You ever feel one of these suckers and they no. come out? And I'm good. I have burn marks all over my arm. Oh, you hit the handle, for yeah. sure. I don't know where I hit. I say we shoot the driver's window. All right, three, two, one. Oh, you see where we both hit. That's funny. <laughs> all right, let's go check out the damage. Sheesh! Look at all these little ones. Is that like frag? That's gotta be it. That's the- Because th you think the tire just like seals it back itself up, you really? know? Really? Because you guys- We four, shot it three times. Four oh, times? Four times. They're Those are the entries? Oh, no. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Is it really that small? Does the yeah, tire just like it. absorb it back up? Yeah, it's, it's got it. Or I melt I like that. The back side's huge. Is there a big holes back there? Not really. No, you can see where it hits. Oh, the frame. it went through the, the frame. frame. Oh my gosh, rip. Wait, that's some of the copper jacket there. Yeah, peeled off right yeah. there. So yeah. these are the bullet holes right here that went through the back. So let's see. The back one's flat. Oh, it went through. It went, oh my gosh, look at these. Oh my gosh, it absolutely ripped. Yeah, oh, here's some excess right here. So good. hang on, it went through the front tire, through the frame. You can yeah. see it went through the frame, through that tire, and kept going into the bluff over there that's actually pretty impressive that's wow crazy. it just ripped right through it oh yeah man. that is insane i love it and these are the ones with the bed that just obviously yeah, those right blew there. right through that's yeah. that's a no-brainer we didn't leave this door open did we no. oh my god look at the exit <laughs> dude is this the other one you think i don't remember that one so, being there sorry. you were aiming at the door yeah i was aiming at the, the path the, the yeah seat the, up there was that here i guess maybe it was here but that's definitely the one i shot though that was right there dude that is massive oh my gosh i don't know if this engine box got it it might dude See? it ripped through the frame oh yeah you shot right here so that was mine you can see it's a hair bigger oh, actually look at the driver's seat that's where i was aiming you can see where it cut right through wait it went up no no no, no. i shot once here yeah and then oh once... you were physically aiming for the seat. Yeah. 
Oh gosh. You can see where I grazed it. Oh my gosh, it literally ripped right through the headrest right there. Oh, there's another one right here. That's that's when you shot through the door. It tore all that up. Look at that. And it looks like maybe you hit Sheesh. here. Oh yeah. We only shot it once though, right? Yeah, so we both pulled the trigger and Cuz I thought that's that's the 308 that hit there. Oh, okay, I say cuz that was mine right there. That's kind of where I was sure. aiming. I just can't believe it ripped through the frame that's, and both tires. And just kept going. So see you nuts. later. And these are just your standard full metal jacket. Yeah. These aren't armor piercing yeah. anything crazy like that. Dude. 660 grain, which is massive. This is wild. So far, the Ranger has not stopped any of the 50 BMG rounds, but the engine block is the big thing. That's probably the most bulletproof. Yeah. And you're thinking just straight up mag dumping. If I just, yeah, I'm going to take one shot initially, probably just right through here. Okay. Just to see what happens. And you know what? No, no I'm not. I'm just going to. Just let it eat. A little bit further back. I would I say just, of all the videos I've watched, you've got Whistle and Diesel, yeah. Kentucky Ballistics, yeah. both had incidents, both with 50 cows. Okay. Yeah. Normally I'm willing to just, oh, you'll be all right. After seeing what happened to them fellers, I would say, I mean, that actually wouldn't probably protect you much if you're holding that there, would it? You're the professional. I'll leave it up to you. I will just be in the truck, so you yeah. just let me know how it goes. I'll be fine. I'll be all right. All right. Well, 50 cal versus Ford Ranger engine block. You guys stay tuned. Give her hell, buddy. All right. You got let's it. Let's do it. I'm getting back. Anyone hit? Her go. I was literally just bracing for impact. I was waiting to get a bullet right through the dome. That was the scariest thing I've ever done. Yeah, I'd say you hit it a couple times. Sheesh. Right through the rim. I'm trying to look for any other entrances. Oh, yeah, uh, he's bleeding pretty bad. Yep, he sprung a leak. Kind of figured that would probably happen ripping through this sucker. What do you got on that side? No, no, no. There's no way. Are you serious? Did it really not? Dude, there's nothing on this side. No way. There's no, there's no, you're, you're like, there's no way. Dude, it's a Ford freaking Ranger, dude. Look at this guy. There's no way, right? <laughs> oh no. Like, can I even get it? Dude, I, it looks mint to me. I think we can still rip it. <laughs> I don't think it did anything. Here, I, got, I can get this. There we go. I think it stopped it. There's no way, dude. You were right, though. If you were going to hide, get behind the engine block. That's the place to be. You ripped the battery terminal off the battery. Batteries. It probably won't start now. I was going to try to start it just for fun, <laughs> but it probably won't start now. There's some copper jacket just chilling right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some wire ripped right there. So, I mean, it ripped through, but it didn't go like actually through to the other side. If you were standing, not that I would do this for a video, <laughs> but if I was standing on the other side of it, I'd be walking around chilling right now. Yeah, you'd probably be fine. What? what I, I cannot could, I mean, believe it. Dude, those this lines, is but... crazy. I did not expect that. I was like, there's no way. I don't care if it's the engine block. It's a 50 cal, right? This is look, this is mint. There's nothing going on right here. I mean, the tire didn't get hit, so it's not like it blew through. We didn't yeah, see tire's it. Tire's still inflated. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at the piece of the bullets. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh my that gosh. Might be piece of the you think that's a piece of the car? I don't know. Yeah. Look, that's a piece of the bullet right there. Yeah, oh my gosh. So it pretty much like disintegrated by the time it got to this side. Yeah. It hit the middle and then ended up just falling right through. Yeah, that's that's exactly what happened. Wow. Wow. So I mean we could do like one more well placed shot. Okay, see. and just see. Yeah, make it like a real precise shot. Is that a bowl hole? Yeah, that is. That's definitely a bowl, right? That's not supposed to be there, right? I guess okay. I don't know. Is yeah. it? <laughs> I don't, I'm not a bowl hole or expert. not. That's the question of the day. <laughs> you want to rip one more like precise, just to like really make sure. Try to aim for like right here or something. Rip it through the battery. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we got one more, but so far the Ranger <laughs> is indestructible. As long as you're behind the engine block, you'll be safe. Don't quote me on that. Don't hold me against it. Don't actually do it and sue me if you die. Okay. Don't do that. This is not legal advice. Okay. We are not trained professionals don't do this at home i need to call my lawyer and see what else i need to say about this video but let's see what one more bullet does okay so i know i said one more well-placed shot so i'm gonna do one more well-placed shot followed by like a bunch of sporadic sheesh let's see what we got now Woo! it's intense you think it did it now it might have what is that sound the air in the tire it's not the tire yeah i think it's the tire let me just take a, one, oh. and that's it. That's it. And something in the tire. Something in the tire, but nothing yeah. else. It didn't go through. All right, so let's... if you're standing right here, you would have made it. Yeah, you're fine. Look at this. It hit the tire, but the, it didn't go through the tire. We can clear victory here. I think the Ford Ranger won. I think it did. I don't want to admit it. I, I, it's hard to admit, but the pink Ford Ranger, uh, it's pretty we indestructible. Got, we got one through the hood. Yeah, one, one through the hood. You just got to crouch right here, real yeah. tight, like, close your eyes and hope for the best. And I think you would survive. There's no part of me that thought that that would happen. We're going to have to do like a part 
part two and put like some plywood back here with like some white paint. So Just to make see, sure, you know? yeah. From the looks of it, it looks like you would have survived, which is really, All really right. hard to believe. I'll admit it. You're, you're it, gonna... look, it looks like you'd probably survive. I, yeah, okay. Like the Ford, Ford Ranger, Ranger, baby. Took the dub, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, clearly you don't want to stand anywhere back here. That's a no-no zone. But you get right in front of the engine, between the tire. This is not professional legal advice, but if you ever find yourself in a, uh, a shootout fight of some sort, you gotta hide, go behind the engine block. This is an educational video, YouTube, so don't take it down. Don't demonetize. I'm just helping my folks out here in case they get into some danger one day. Go find yourself Ford Ranger, hide behind the engine block, and you will be good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It was something different. We're like, hey, let's mix it up. The boys from Classic Firearms came down, brought the firepower, and it was not enough to take down the Ford Ranger. But remember, giving away the exact same Barrett that I was shooting at ClassicFirearms.com is how you enter. So go ahead, go there, check it out, and you may be twinsies with me, and you could have Barrett 50 Cal for yourself, and do whatever you want with it. If you want to shoot up a Ford Ranger, you go right ahead, sir. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one, and peace.